Oh, hey guys, back to you with kind of an interesting little break today, I guess. Um, I answered a, an ad on Craigslist. A guy was selling um, two boxes of cards you can see here for $20. Um, he claimed they were unsearched, just cards left over from when he was a kid. Um, so I took a bite, I got them, I was able to go pick them up. Um, I haven't looked through them. When I looked on the pictures on Craigslist, it looked like a lot of 70s cards, which you can see there. But it seems to me there are some 80s cards. I don't know if you can see. There's like 83 tops in there, I think. Um, I see some 77 poking in down there. So um, I'm going to be opening them for you. I haven't looked through any of these. Um, I do expect to cut and, and touch this movie so that um, you don't see every single card, but only kind of the highlights. Okay, guys, so I've set up a little bit. Kind of I put some cards out. I'm really hoping to find a couple Hall of Famers in here. Um, for $20, really, I think it was worth the risk of pulling commons. Obviously, there was a couple set early 70s showing. Um, so uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to just video, and I'll cut later. Um, the first stack is the most alluring because there's some 1970s in there. So without further ado, we got a 71 tops. Denny Riedelberger, I know signs in the mail. Not a high number. So here's some 1970 Joe Coleman. Daryl Knowles, who I plan to be sending to shortly. Um, Dick Bosman, who signs through the mail. I just got something back, so it'll be a while before I send to him. Frank Tepidino. I think that's a high number. It is 689, so that's kind of a good one. So we'll put that in a separate stack. Maybe I'll make a stack for TTM players, too. Lindy McDaniel signs with a fee. Almost a high number, but not quite. Ron Woods. Ooh, another Frank Tepidino. Commission's okay. Not bad, but high number. That's kind of not bad. Lee May. Mike Kilkenny. Denny McLean. 400, so not a high number. We'll put that in the better pile. Mickey Stanley signs in the mail. I'll go in my TTM stack. Jim Northrup. Not a high number. Good Tiger while he played. Hit a big home run in the World Series. There's some 75s. Jerry Grody. So if I'm collecting that set, that's pretty nice. Lou Brock, look at that. Very huge crease down here, so this would have to be filler, but that's really cool. I will put that in the better stack. Lee Lacey, just raised his fee to $5. Vita Blue, 71 Cy Young and MVP. He charges $10 in the mail to sign. Bob Apodaca, I actually traded for this card signed, so you can see the condition's a little bit Poor on these cards. Clearly the guy did have them in his collection. Jack Aker of the Yankees. Mike Andrews of the Red Sox. Nice for the Red Sox PC. Tom Matchick of the Red Sox. That's another high number. 647. John O'Donoghue. He signs in the mail. Don Wirt of the Senators. I love the old Senators cards. I don't think he signs or he charges a fee. I'm going to put him in the TTM stack. Dean Chance. Duffy Dyer signs. That card is beat up, though. But I'll put him in the TTM stack. You never know. Cleon Jones of the Mets. If you watch my TTM break, I got one of him. $5. Um, a 1981 really beat up Giants card. Dave Parker, 70 year, second year, 75. Very beat up. Very poor condition. So, ooh, Yogi Berra manager card. This card. Dodgers, Davy Lopes All-Star. Ooh, nice. And Andre Dawson, 1980 tops. And this one's in probably the best condition out of any in the stack. 82, Larry Gurr, of course. Oh, Brad Mills, he signs in the mail, but that card is destroyed. Dick Drago with some crap on it, but he does sign in the mail. Um, a nice Ron Guidry. Oh, you know what that crap is? It's an old rubber band. Got some 81s here. Oh! No way. No way. Look what was on top of the next stack of 80s. A Ricky Henderson rookie card. Holy crap. Okay, so that makes these this official box 20 bucks um, worth it. That is stunning. A Ricky Henderson 1980 tops rookie card. I'm going to have to display that now. Let's put that right here. Holy cow. 1980, it's not the greatest condition. I would never send this in. Corners are beat up, but for someone who just wants to collect, you can't get a better rookie card than this. Holy crap.
Okay, I guess this guy really didn't go through his cards. All right, well, that <laughs> that Mark Fidrich Gold Cup card. I have that signed somewhere. Bill Freehand, Bill Freehand, Ray Bear, Bari, Tom Verizer, Dave Robert, Tuck Shriv Chuck Shrivener. He is a signer. Sparky Lyle, signs are used to, recently did for fee. I have this whole 1970s. Oh, look at that. Catfish Hunter. Very cool Yankees card. Um, I have this whole set unsigned. Thurman Munson. This is loaded with kick-ass stars. Um, wow. Okay, guys, this is that. And then we'll go into the next row and see what we get out of that. So Charlie Spikes, I just got back. He does sign. Boog Powell. Dave LaRoche. Pat Dobson. Eric Rach has signed in the past. Dennis Eckersley. That is his second year. His rookie card was in 1976. That is a really sweet card. A little bit. Obviously, everything in here is rough. A little stain. But at this point, I feel like we're just working at pure... I don't know. So, now I'm just kind of going for speed. Tom Seaver. Very nice. Another Hall of Famer out of this stack. Felix Milan, Rusty Stav, which is colored really weird. Orioles, Tiffany Martinez signs, Stoddard signs. Eddie Murray, that's a nice one, nice Hall of Famer. Put down the Hall of Fame stack. Benny Ayala, Junior Kennedy, George White Sox rookies, destroyed Ken Clay. Here's some, hey, on the back, look at that. Do you guys see the name? Rod Carew. I'll pull the Rod Carew up front. So there's another Hall of Famer. Looks like we got some 77s, some 74s. Ooh, 74. Can we have a Winfield in here? Tom Grieve, Dwight Alexander, Mike Hargrove, Tom Grieve, John Ellis, Lenny Randall's been signing for a donation. Tommy Boggs, Jeff Turpko, Nico Cardi, Dick Lemanchik, Butch Winninger, and then a rookie card of Dennis Martinez. That's not bad. Let me put that kind of up here to the side. Sorry, a couple autographs. I still overflowing with autographs from that massive, massive TTM break I had. We'll stick Dennis Martinez back in the background there. Nothing crazy there. Ken Boswell, Drake's George Brett. Look at that. What year is that? And that looks like it's an 85, so not tremendously old, but still very nice. Hall of Famer. 82, Atlee Hamaker rookie card. Another Bob Horner Drake's, a Rod Carew. Drake's best hitters, 81. And an Eddie Murray, 82. Drake's. So those are two nice cards. Decent condition. Monstein, Bobby Tolan, Gaylord Perry with a wrinkle, but Hall of Fame stack nonetheless. Del Unser, Crease, John Milner, Ed Ott, Jim Sundberg. Fergie Jenkins, another Hall of Famer. All right. Beat up Tom Seaver. So that'll go in my stack. Actually, so three Hall of Famers potentially. 1980 tops George Brett. Nice, nice, nice. And there is a Jim Rice. A 1983 Drakes. Robin Yount. Beat up, but a nice Hall of Famer. Kind of early card of him. Harold Baines. We can argue whether he should be a Hall of Famer or not, but he is in the Hall of Fame. Braves. Jerry Augustine Gold Cup. He signs in the mail. A Mike Schmidt Leaders card with nettles. Very nice. Jim Todd, Paul Lindblad, Tim McCarver, Luzinski, Concepcion. Maury Wills, record breaker. 75 Jim Spencer. Dave Parker, I'll put that on the good card just because it's kind of unique. Dave Winfield Drakes, 82. And right on top, 1983, Mike Schmidt Drakes. Very cool. So there's a whole bunch of like little kind of special ones. Mickey Rivers, who kind of was a jerk face, poo face to the Red Sox. Here's some, ooh, Reggie Jackson, 1980 tops. That Hall of Fame stack is growing pretty thick. It's going to come to the point where just those Hall of Famers are going to be worth the $20 purchase price. An Abbott signs, Eagle Sugi signs. I'd like to send that one out. Some rookie cards. Some Don Asse. No one really important there. Another Dennis Martinez. 
We'll put that back over there. So that's two Dennis Martinez rookie cards. Jack Clark rookie. I'm not too into Jack. Hey, look at that. Andre Dawson, the second Hall of Fame rookie card we have pulled. Holy cow. Okay, this is officially the greatest like random break I've ever had. We've got Henderson and Dawson. Look at that. I obviously have that for my set. The corner's dinged. Get to pull a Hall of Fame rookie out of a random box of commons. It will always be worth it. So at this point, if you disclude everything else, I have paid $10 for those two. Here's a 76 Rod Carew. All-star card. Ty Cobb, this would be 73 tops, I believe. A little beat up. Larry Christensen to the mail. Hank Aaron. I know what these are. These are 74s. Yep, so that's beat up. I may start trying to collect just set unsigned, so that's actually nice. I'm going to put that in my stack, even though if you can see. I've never actually had any of those, because anytime I buy 74s, it's the four through the mail. Hey, here's some more Hank Aarons. So there's doubles there. It's number three in the set. It's number four in the set. Number five. So the first, I think, eight or nine cards. And there's another Ty Cobb. Set. George Foster. So we got some 82s. Steve Carlton. 82 highlights card. Willie Stargell in action. 82. Raleigh Fingers. 82. Gosh, can this Tim Raines? 82. Don Sutton. 82. The only thing that would make us better is if there is Chili Davis rookie card. That's kind of a nice rookie. If there was a Ripken somewhere in here. Bobby Sproul and Danny Heap. I just got that one back in the mail. 74, that is Jerry Kuzman. Billy Martin, that's nice. Jim Mason, Juan Marichal. Add another Hall of Famer in there. John Curtis, Larry Gora, Yogi Berra manager card. Don Hahn. John Matlick, I'll have to send that one. Duffy Dyer, Wayne Garrett, Jim Buchamp. These are, whoa, look at that card. Jerry Grody destroyed, look at the next card. Tom Seaver, 1974 Tops card. Oh, this is awesome. Guys, this is insane. I'm gonna have to put that out there. That's really cool. This, you know, sometimes Felix Milan is destroyed. Um, sometimes I'm skeptical of any posts of like, oh, this is an unsearched box. But this literally is an unsearched box. Sorry. Oh, Ken Schrom rookie. It's worth nothing, but that's a nice TTMer. And look at that. Fernando Valenzuela, 1981 Tops rookie card. What other Hall of Famers can we find? Dave Winfield, Padres card. It's not near his rookie card, but it's still pretty darn cool. Okay, still going on the 81s. It'd be nice to find a Baines or Gaylord Perry. Alan Trammell, early card of his. Some Red Sox, Jimmy Rice. He well for a while, and then he ended up uh, with some serious health issues. Uh, Jim Rice again. Tony Perez, Hall of Famer. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, has a crease in it. Oh, that's okay. Another Paul Molitor. Bob McClure, Robin Yount. Ricky Henderson again. This is his second year, not his rookie card, which we already pulled. We've seen that one before. Larry Boa. Mike Schmidt. Damaged. But another Hall of Famer. Jerry Martin, Steve Carlton. So I didn't have any of these seven nines really growing up. So a lot of these cards are actually new to me. That's very nice. Jim Lomborg signs regularly. There's some Pirates. Bart Blylev on Hall of Famer. Wrinkled, but Hall of Famer nonetheless. Willie Stargell, that's in pretty decent shape. Yeah. Foster, Pete Rose. We're going to count him as a Hall of Famer. We know all the stories. Johnny Bench. Tom Seaver. This really was an unsearched Carlton Fisk Red Sox card. Jim Rice destroyed Red Sox card. Some Royals. 
George Brett really beat up, but a nice early George Brett card. Record breaker. Very cool. Still in 79. Look at these two. There's a Nolan Ryan 79, a Lou Brock, and Lou Brock, and a Walter Johnson. So oh, look at that. A 1979 Tops Nolan Ryan. Are you kidding me? And that's in decent shape. It's miscut. Holy cow. All right. There's another Paul Molitor. I'm going to have to make a second stack of Hall of Famers. The first one's too big. I'm getting disorganized. Robin Yount. Never had that card. A lot of surface wear in there. Cecil Cooper was a great player during his career. And the Cardinals. Tyson, Lou Brock, sick. Let's put some of those back there. That's a really yeah, nice one. Because I on top, there's a Hank Aaron, and then another Hank Aaron, and then another Hank Aaron, and then a Ty Cobb, a Cy Young, a Ty Cobb. And then a Thurman Munson, I'll put that in the stars list. So here's some Yankees, Reggie Jackson. Catfish Hunter, the second Hunter. Should I've be an Eddie Murray's second year. Jim Palmer, I forgot about him. Yep, there it is, Eddie Murray's second year. Well, we haven't done 78s. So it'd be kind of sick if there was an Eddie Murray 78. Up oh, here's some Padres. So let's hope that there's an Aussie in here. Oh, I saw the Afro. Daryl Thomas. Raleigh Fingers, very nice. I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Oh. And are you fucking kidding me? Guys, look at that. Ozzie Smith, 1979 Dobbs rookie card. To go along with those other two rookie cards. We'll finish the Gaylord Perry. My heart just stopped. I... Holy shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. So those are the, the four highlights right now. We have a Henderson rookie. Then I pulled the Dawson rookie. Then we found the 79 Nolan Ryan. And now we've got the 79 Ozzy Smith rookie card. We still have half of a box to go. So at least a lot of them look like it. So Yankees on top. Thurman Munson. Another excellent one. Beat up Jim Rice. 78 leaders card. Raleigh Fingers beat up. But we're putting him in that stack. Another Nolan Ryan. A 78 Nolan Ryan. Whew. We'll put that back with the other Nolan Ryan. Pete Rose. And guys, another Hall of Famer rookie card. See that? Jack Morris, 78 tops rookie card. I have to put this over to the side. My daughter is now up, so I'm going to have to go up. And then another rookie card that's pretty nice, a Lou Whitaker rookie card. So could there be a Trem Trammo and Molitor rookie in here? Guys, what if there is? I'm going to go insane. Dale Murphy, that is not his rookie card. Ted Cox, that'd be nice to send. There's another Jack Morris rookie card. His second. And right behind that, a third. So that'd be three Jack Morris rookie cards. And that is not anybody important commenting on condition anymore. There's some Yankees. There'd be a Reggie in here. And speak of the devil, of course there is. Of course, as soon as we realize there might be someone in there. Reggie Jackson. Very nice. Goose Gossage, beat up. Don Gulla, Jim Spencer. Alright, so can someone tell me what the difference between these two are? Number 70 was the beat up one. This one is number 10. Are there two different sets? Is this... Is that OPG that I'm just not seeing? Another Reggie Jackson. Another Reggie Jackson. That's 378 Reggie Jacksons. Another Goose Gossage from whatever set that is. Catfish Hunter. Third Catfish Hunter. Rod Carew. 78 tops. Backwards. All right, so these have all been in order of teams. So 
Orioles have the Eddie Murray rookie card. So if that's in there, then this is just insane. All right, so no Eddie Murray, because that would have been crazy. Some Phillies. Those are not a ton of Hall of Famers. And we're back to the Orioles, so who the heck knows? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Holy cow, guys, look at that. An Eddie Murray rookie card. 1978 tops, Gold Cup rookie. Not the greatest, but not the worst condition. But look at what we've pulled today. Look at what's been in there. We have. Um, you know what? Those are kind of cool. Those are Ray Knight rookie cards. Um, not worth a whole ton. But he was a significant player during his time. So that's two Ray Knight rookie cards right there. Pete Rose. Wrong for me to hope that I have some kind of crazy, like they decided to put Paul Molitor in this stack. There it is, Robin Yount. That's a really nice card. Right, guys, just wanted to give a quick overview. Here's the highlights that I pulled. So first, we found not one, not two, but three and the Jack Morris rookie cards. They're not in the greatest condition, as you can see, but any rookie cards of Hall of Famer I feel like are good ones. So that's three of those. We have two Dennis Martinez rookie cards, two Ray Knight 78 Tops rookies, and then a really nice, though beat up a little bit, Lou Whitaker 78 rookie card, and then we also had an 81 Tops Fernando Valenzuela and Mike Sosha rookie. And that's, you know, for $20, if you pulled those, you'd generally be happy with all the commons. But then, we also found these two, Nolan Ryan, 79 tops card, and a 78 record breaker card. So, at 20 bucks, you're thinking, hey, that's great. But early in the break, I pulled that. A Ricky Henderson 1980 tops rookie card. That makes my box right there. But then later in the same first box, that popped out. That'd be an Andre Dawson, 1977 Topps rookie. And at that point, we're going crazy. And then that was in there. An Ozzie Smith, 1979 Topps rookie card. And we're thinking, holy cow, that's amazing. And then to top it off, that. So those are four Hall of Fame rookie cards in a $20 box along with all those Hall of Famers I had the Dawson but I did not have the Henderson I did not have the Aussie and I did not have the Murray so overall for $20 along with all these commons all those commons those commons and those 20 bucks I get those so $5 each not bad.